Hey, Premier Chiropractic family, Dr. Erica here today, just sharing some encouraging tips to help you and your spine stay healthy through this stressful time. Um, so this video is gonna go out to all of our practice members. I wanted to share three to four different stretches, different postural tips that you can implement at home. You know, we have a good chunk of practice members who are staying at home out of the office until May due to the stay at home mandate. And so especially for those of you who were not seeing for a couple weeks, Weeks. Remember, nothing can replace a specific chiropractic adjustment. But the last thing that we want is for people to start regressing in their care, to start regressing in the progress that they have put thus forth into their spines. And so I have a lot of people, especially who are still coming into the office, saying that they're struggling with a lot of low back discomfort, a lot of tightness, a lot of neck discomfort. So again, I'm giving you just a couple tips that's going to help your spine stay somewhat stable in between your adjustments. Um, if you're sitting at home a lot in awkward chairs that you're not used to, this is going to help you feel better. And again, this is going to help those of you who are out of the office until the next couple weeks just aid in what we've already put into your spine in this transition before we get you back in for your adjustments. So we're going to go ahead and actually start with some for the lower body. Um, we have a lot of people who've been saying that right here they're feeling pain in their hips. So these are called your hip flexor muscles. They get activated by doing this. And what do you think a lot of people are doing right now? This, sitting. So when we sit, our hip flexors are contracted. And maybe they're really sore when you lay down to go to bed at night because you're not using them and the tension's coming out of the muscles. So some safe and effective hip flexor for the front of the thigh uh, stretches. Especially if you have a hard time with balance, please stand near something that can stabilize you like a chair or your bed, but this is just a lunge stretch. So if I put one leg forward, I'm going to be stretching this back leg. I'm going to put my hand here for stability and basically lunge and I can feel that muscle opening up in the front of my thigh. You can lunge forward for a deeper stretch. Hold that for about 30 to 60 seconds. Do it on both sides. That is a great stretch again to help the front of the thighs. Now, maybe you have a lot of discomfort in your hips or in your lower back. So again, another sitting muscle is your piriformis, um, your IT band, your TFL. These are little tiny muscles that help the hip stay stable. A great stretch for that is just sitting down, taking one leg and crossing it over the other. So right now I'm gonna be stretching out that right side in that upper glute right in the hip. If I put my hand here on my knee, here on my ankle, and I just bend forward, I can feel a great stretch right through here. Again, hold that 30 to 60 seconds. The further you lean forward, the deeper the stretch. Also, if I lean towards the opposite side, I'm gonna hit the side of the hip a little bit more. So those are two really awesome stretches for the lower body. And then we're just gonna talk real quick about what good posture looks like and some good neck exercises. So when we sit at a computer, what do we do? This, right? We start leaning forward. So we want to avoid that leaning forward posture. What we want to have is what we call a proper plumb line, where that ear is over our shoulder, is over our hip. So keeping that chin tucked back, ear over shoulder, and trying to practice good posture in this position. What can we do to help implement that posture? Something called chin retraction exercises. So that's essentially where we tuck our chin down and bring our ear over that shoulder. Hold that for a good 10 to 15 seconds. Repeat. So do that about 10 times in a row. And that's just going to help train you from getting out of this position into this position. If your neck and your shoulders are really tight, you can just gently grab your ear, put it over towards the opposite shoulder. So I'm stretching out the right side of my neck here. That's going to help with side to side motion. And I can also turn my head, do the same thing again, flex my head forward, tilt my head back, and then just move it side to side. Again, when we hold stretches anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds, never hold a stretch to a point where it's painful. You do not want to feel sharp pains. And if you feel that, make sure you stop immediately. 
The other reminder is when we sit, we tend to lack water. So we get dehydrated. Mind you, 80% of your body volume is actually water. So you wanna make sure that even though you're sitting and maybe not as active as normal, that you're staying really super duper hydrated. So I hope these little stretches and keys can help you stay a little more mobile during this time. Everybody keep a positive energy. May is right around the corner and we can't wait to get everybody back on track soon.